So one of the important types of graphs you need to be able to sketch are quadratic graphs and one of the important techniques to help you do that is this completing the square technique I'm about to show you. And what does that technique do, just so you know where we're going, it helps you find the vertex of such a quadratic graph. Okay, the vertex is this uh, minimum point, sometimes a maximum point, this turning point we often call it, uh, of a quadratic graph. So let's show you how to do that. Here's your equation of the graph we're talking about in the question and we complete the square so hopefully you know how to complete the square if you don't check out my video on that and once you've completed the square uh, the good thing about that is you can compare it to the y equals x squared graph and the y equals x squared graph is a really important graph because uh, we know that y equals x squared its vertex goes through 0 0 and basically what we're going to do is we're going to show that from here to there is equivalent from changing this function to that function and so we can figure out the transformation from y equals x squared including its vertex and so once we know how the vertex uh, transforms we can see where it ends up that's the kind of overview of about what we're about to do and to know how to do that or understand what I'm about to talk about you probably need to check out my video about functions uh, what are functions okay uh, and once you've got that background this should be pretty easy to do so let's get back to what I was talking about which is uh, this uh, graph which we've transformed to uh, y equals x plus 2 all squared plus 6 uh, if you compare it to the y equals x squared graph you can see that the x has been replaced with an x plus 2 okay so instead of x squared you got x plus 2 squared which is equivalent to going from fx to x fx plus 2 because if you change uh, the x that's like changing inside the function as I've talked about in my earlier video which introduces functions now on top of that I haven't just replaced the x with x plus 2 uh, I've also added a 6 at the end which is like adding a 6 at the end of the function or outside the bracket. So in short, changing the graph from y equals x squared to y equals x plus 2 or squared plus 6 is like changing the graph from y equals fx to y equals fx plus 2 plus 6. And hopefully you know uh, changing the graph from here to there, this function to this function means going left to because we're adding 2 inside the function and uh, up 6 because we're adding 6 outside the function so basically it means this translation minus 2, 6 so from here to there, from y equals x squared to our graph it means a translation of minus 2, 6 so that means the vertex goes from 0, 0, which is what you have in y equals x squared, to this, minus 2, 6. Because if you go from 0, 0 and you go minus 2, so left 2 and up 6, you'll obviously be at minus 2, 6. On top of that, we did say in the question we want to sketch the graph. So we want to know where this graph here crosses the x-axis and the y-axis. Now... To be able to do that, I said in earlier videos, you need to find a solution to, uh, well, for finding where it crosses the x-axis, you need to find a solution to when y equals 0 in uh, this equation. So when you make that equal to 0, if you uh, use the quadratic uh, formula on it you'll find out there is no solution and so basically no solution means it doesn't cross the x-axis and to find out where this graph crosses the y-axis you find out when x equals 0 uh, and you'll find the solution to that is y equals 10 so basically this graph crosses the y-axis at 10 so in short you get this graph you get this quadratic graph